Hello, this is Sarita, and I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. So good morning, everyone. I just wanted to have a conversation with you today because there's been some discussions on my Telegram uh, group chat thread that have been quite interesting, and they've been making me think a lot about um, discernment, especially in the awareness that obviously we are in a war on consciousness and information, which is literally what we are made of, light frequency information, is being used and manipulated by those with nefarious intentions to, um, to manipulate us basically in turn to manifest and create a reality that serves them rather than ourselves. And so I thought I'd come on to discuss that and talk about how you can better achieve discernment in terms of what's going on and how discernment is really negated, um, sorry, navigated via the nervous system. And, and obviously synchronistically, as I've been thinking about these things, um, I was listening to a podcast by Laura Matsu and Bernard Gunther, who I really do admire. Um, there are very few people I follow these days anymore, but I do listen to their podcasts. And they were talking about the role of the nervous system and how in this age of information, we are being kind of systematically, psychologically attacked and how that's affecting our nervous system. And so what I wanted to talk to you about today was how the nervous system works in terms of our being able to access our true physicality, the eighth sense that I'm beginning to perceive that is now it's kind of being downloaded towards me that we have access to this eighth sense and how the nervous system really works um, very closely in parallel to the endocrine system, which is the system that then aligns us through the energy centers, through um, higher dimensions. So the endocrine system gives us access to our multidimensionality, but you can't access the endocrine system unless your nervous system is fully regulated. So. Basically, the conversation, so that's, that's a long intro to explain why I'm making this video, but basically the threads of conversation um, on my Telegram channel, and if, you, and if you're not on the Telegram channel, really come and join us. I'll put a link in the description box because it's just such a lovely, heartwarming and authentic um, load of people on there. It's really lovely. Um, but basically the threads were talking about how many of the gurus um, that people have been following for years um, are actually being controlled um, by archonic forces, either knowingly or unwittingly. I've got no idea. Um, and how they speak a lot of truth, but it's kind of mingled with, um, if you like, spiritual, it's not disinformation, but it's spiritual information that is not aligning us to our soul's purpose, but is rather aligning us to stay very material, embedded within this false matrix that seeks to control us. So there are a lot of gurus and people out there on the internet that are speaking things that are not aligned to our spiritual evolution. And how over the last two years, more and more of these gurus who had beautiful prophetic words and, and information for all of us have have become if you like channels for darker denser um, negatively polarized forces so that was one thread of the conversation and the other thread which just began I think yesterday or the day before was talking about how more people seem more aggressive at the moment how there's a lot of kind of unconscious anger rising up and being projected by people. Um, the thread was talking about by people who have had the um, 
the pointy thing in the arm. OK, so this is the conversation. As I was thinking about this, I was thinking this is all about the nervous system because. What's happening, there's two things happening here. So one is that because of the um, psychological operation that's been going on and the energetic and frequency manipulation and matrix operation that's been going on and escalating, people's nervous systems are really, um, they're either overactivated. So in other words, they're like thinking that there's danger around every corner and everything's out to get them or they're under-regulated and that they've gone into numb, basically. So the nervous system is either switched on too much or switched off, and there is no balance. Balance being the infinity symbol, the eighth sense, if you like. And um, so what it's doing is it's throwing off the physical body. And what happens when your nervous system is thrown off and it's over agitated or numb is you lose your power to discern what light frequency information you should allow into your biofield and what you should not. And very much part of being spiritually aware and being able to spiritually evolve in good authentic ways is about having your sovereign boundaries in place. We've been literally conditioned that our boundaries shouldn't be there and that we should sacrifice ourselves and give to everyone and be all love and light and let everything in no matter what. And that is actually not the case. True sovereignty means you must be very well boundaried. You need to be the master of your own mansion, if you like, this beautiful, um, physical vessel which houses our soul we need to look after it have it boundaried and through our free will conscious choice choose what's coming in or going out okay not letting things in through the back door of our unconscious selves through our trauma okay and through our over or under activated nervous systems so when your nervous system is like this it just gets totally deregulated and you just can't discern what's truth or what's not and truth is a very interesting concept because that will always go through the lens of your own perception so rather I should say we can't discern what's for our benefit and the benefit of all and what isn't okay so really what's happening in this war on consciousness is that we're learning how to pick and choose from higher density or lower density information and obviously if you're going to evolve as a soul you're going to see lower density and learn with it and through it um, through contrast and then keep striving towards higher higher frequency information so pulling yourself out of low density frequency and into higher frequency and this is how we're moving from being um, carbon-based beings into crystalline based beings we're, we're allowing more light as we choose higher and higher frequencies to align with okay so what I'm going to do at the end of this chat is I'm going to put one of my meditations that I did years ago um, on how to heal your nervous system. OK, and I'm going to invite you all to if you feel like you can't discern, if you feel like your uh, nervous system is overactivated or underactivated, to start healing and working with your nervous system, because the minute you can bring that into balance, you are going to be able to discern more easily because what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to feel your body. This is the thing. And what the information that I'm really receiving now is in order to have access to the eighth sense. So the eighth sense being our true physical nature beyond the illusion of the matrix, Maya, and beyond the illusion of what we perceive as Gaia into our true physicality, we need to be able to really feel our bodies. And that is how we will activate that eighth sense within us, within us, that absolute balance and that absolute connection to Gaia, 
which is what we are. And as Gaia ascends in her consciousness, she's doing that no matter what. We either get to go with her if we are embedded and aligned with her, knowing that her self is our self too. We get to ascend with her. Or if we're not fully embedded and immersed in our physicality, we will, if you like, I guess, get thrown off into another dimensional reality. Okay, so that's how we learn what to discern and choose what information comes in. And all of this information is assisting us in ascending. And when people on the thread were beginning to talk about um, those who seem more aggressive and angry, I too have seen this. I have seen this with people who are very embedded in the narrative, very embedded in the control matrix system. And they are taking substances into their bodies that are further um, embedding them into that system. Because what that substance is doing to a lot of people is it's, it's allowing them or forcing them or working through them so that they disassociate from their physicality, basically. So what that um, procedure can do in not all cases, but in a lot, I think, is um, it fractures the soul and pieces of, of the soul leave. It creates kind of cracks and fissures in the body. And the soul, because, because the soul is about um, aligning to higher evolution and, and aligning to the truth of who you are, which is Gaia, it can't cope with um, if you like, an invasion of um, more control matrix in, if you like, chemical and AI formats and geometry coming literally into the body, having been permissioned into the body. So the soul leaves because that thing that's coming in is the absolute opposite of its own nature. So they can't sort of stay with each other in the body so the soul leaves okay so we're seeing i'm seeing um fractured souls soul parts leaving the body and i'm seeing um disassociation and so what we're seeing with the aggression is when you're disassociated when you're not in your soul um when you're holding the lie within you literally physically chemically um you, you know in patterning within you that you are a control matrix system uh what's going to happen is you can't stay in the physical body because it's not safe it's not safe and so that's why we need to regulate our nervous system so that we can feel into what's going on and have this absolute sense of safety within the body and i'm actually writing my new um series for iconic at the moment and it's um an extension of my Heal Thyself Body Mastery series, which is already on my YouTube channel for free for any of you that want to try it. And what I realized as I was writing this, the last episode that I was writing, I was talking about the frequency of peace. And I was really realizing that we just don't know what true peace feels like. I was trying to, you know, recall moments where I felt so safe in my body that I just felt completely at peace. And those moments are really few and far between. And since I had children, those moments only exist when I'm kind of holding my children to me and everything is all right in the world and kind of all sleeping together. That's when I feel at peace, right? And I've only had a few moments like that. And, and it's because my nervous system has been completely either overactivated or underactivated since I was a very tiny child because everything in this inverted control matrix is literally set up to frazzle our nervous system. So I really think it's important that we now all think about healing our nervous systems on deeper levels. And obviously, if you're on this channel, you're a meditation person, you love meditation. And what I'm trying to teach here is through meditation, being able to feel into the energetic aspect of our bodies through the physical, 
the emotional, the mental and the spiritual parts of us through all the layers of who we are and to really feel into the energy of who we are. And we can only really do this if our nervous system is in balance, okay? And once we start to feel into the truth of who we are, then what happens is we begin to perceive that we are creative consciousness and that we have the ability to heal our bodies, to move um, and realign, you know, that fractured energy, energy to pick and choose what's coming in because we can see and feel it fully as it's coming in this is why I don't get colds anymore because I feel the energetics of them reaching my biofield long before they arrive in my body and so I do stuff as I feel them coming in to sort me out you know I take my vitamin c I move into meditation I set up my free will boundaries more clearly and I push it out at the layer of the energy not when it's infringed on my physical body so I think as we begin to be able to feel energy more intrinsically we then move into a higher level of who we are as multi-dimensional beings so we work on the nervous system we calm the nervous system it comes into balance which is that beautiful symbol of the figure of eight coming into balance we can now feel what is going on in our bodies once we can feel, we then have more conscious free will. We can pick and choose with discernment what comes in and out. We don't project our feelings, which are coming from frazzled nervous systems, the aggression and the anger and the sadness and all the things that people project unconsciously when they're struggling with their nervous systems. We don't do that anymore. We begin to hone in these skills and we begin to transmute those emotions and feelings within us, we don't just project them, okay? So now we're learning and growing, we're transmuting and we're healing. So the nervous system, once regulated, gives us access to the endocrine system. Now, if you know my work, you will know that I don't work with the Eastern chakra tradition. I work with a Western tradition of eight energy centers, which are aligned to the endocrine system. So each set of glands within the endocrine system in my tradition um, is connected to an energy center, okay? And what I've realized is, is that when our nervous system is overactivated, we cannot move beyond the third energy center. Because the third energy center, which is the one just above and behind your belly button in our tradition, is connected to the adrenal glands. In my tradition, we call it the hunter. So it's the one that is always alert. OK, now. It seems to me that what's happening now is that all of this, if you like, nefarious agenda, energetic, arconic agenda is attacking um our alignment to the first three energy centers and our first three energy centers are really about feeling safe within the body the first one is about connecting to the earth it's your doorway your portal to mother earth gaia so if you're not grounded you're going to feel unsafe because mother earth is your grounding mechanism the second energy center is really about um, us being in relationship to other humans and to the creatures and to the planet um, it's about community. And at the moment, we're in this kind of situation where community is sort of attacking us. Um, and the Arconic Matrix, which, you know, pretends to be our community, or the thing that holds us, is in full attack mode. And then the third energy center is your I am center. And someone just asked me a question on my channel. Why is it the I am center? Because it's the point of your umbilicus. It's the point where you connect into your mother, okay? So it's the I am center. Um, it's the who you are. And it's very much, in fact, connected to the ego, really. It's, um, you know, it, it's what you're attached to in terms of perceiving who you are in relationship to the second energy center, your community, and the first energy center, the earth, okay? So those three energy centers are all about safety. And so once we can regulate the nervous system, those energy centers will start to spin and vibrate in alignment. And 
what will happen is the adrenal glands which are related to the third energy center will just start to calm down and so we won't be in perpetual freeze numbing fight aggression or flight trying to get away from this whole thing and ourselves separation we won't be in perpetual freeze fight or flight mode and so once we're not in perpetual freeze fight or flight mode we have full discernment, we're coming into our sovereignty, we're becoming more boundaries, boundaried, we can be in relationship with our community in the earth and ourselves, we, we know ourselves better, we can feel into ourselves. Now we have access to the endocrine system. And so the endocrine system is the system in the, your body, which is connected to your energy centers, that now allows you to access the chemicals that open the doorways to higher dimensional realities and the most well-known chemical is of course um dmt which is produced by the pineal gland but you can't produce dmt in a conscious state unless um your endocrine system is functioning fully and your endocrine system can't function fully if your nervous system isn't fully um calm and regulated so i really wanted to have this conversation with you because if we want to access the access those portals of higher dimensionality and really understand ourselves as conscious creators and understand how we materialize matter which is basically light frequency information coming from the higher dimensions it comes towards us through our will through our feelings um through our focus through our imagination it comes towards us and becomes denser and denser until it's materialized into form we can't access that consciously if our nervous system isn't regulated so i think this is just so important and the dimensions work in octaves they work in groups of eight so we have the dimensionality of of, of, of one to eight, that's what we have access to at the moment. And then from there, there'll be higher octaves that take it into higher dimensions of reality. And this is why I think I'm getting this information about the eighth sense, because I think once we can align to our true physicality, it's like all of our senses, all eight senses come into alignment and we now have access to eight dimensions and a portal that will access us to the next eight dimensions because it's going to go on and on into infinity because everything does whether it's you know to its smallest state into its biggest state so i think we've really got to think about this eighth sense how do we access the eighth sense which is our true embodied physicality and the way we do it is nervous system regulation and then through the portals of the endocrine system so um i just wanted to put that out there so that you're all inspired to go and work with your nervous systems now because i think this is going to be really helpful and i think all of you have to greater and less degrees been working with your nervous systems for the last two years i mean we've had everything <laughs> we've had everything thrown at us and here we are still doing our best to be embodied as compassionate beings, taking responsibility for our feelings and um, creating healthy boundaries and coming into our sovereignty. And that's why so many of us are now having the ability to perceive what is good for us and what isn't. And we're also beginning to perceive how those who are not doing their inner work for whatever reason, and everyone's on different levels you know, of evolution, we can perceive um, the inverted matrix. We can per perceive those who are projecting and being aggressive. We can perceive those false gurus who are sharing information that is not in our highest good. You know, we're beginning to open our perspective as we as we calm down um, and we align more and more to ourselves. We begin to have a more open perspective. A, a, a broader awareness of what's going on and the, the calmer we can stay the more we will be able to see because our focus will be, be going from a narrow fight flight or freeze focus into an expanded we can observe the terrain because everything's safe 
focus. So we've had the book thrown at us, you know, we've had everything thrown at us and we've been practicing. And I think there's going to be more stuff thrown at us yet to come. You know, I think more and more stuff is coming. And yes, it's going to be challenging. But really what it's doing is it's teaching us to become more and more sovereign, to learn the tools to calm the nervous system down, to learn how to meditate, to go through those portals into other dimensions. And most importantly of all, to be able to access our own physical bodies, which holds all of the dimensions. It holds it all. We house and hold the entire universe within us. So if we can calm ourselves down, we are going to be able to come back in to this extraordinary vessel, this chalice that has been spoken about for thousands of years that holds our soul. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, I'm now going to um, let you go and um, put on the nervous system meditation for you all to try and play with. And there are loads of other meditations on my channel which help the nervous system. Anything that's taking you into your body and feeling what's going on within it is going to assist you with your nervous system. So I really hope you enjoy the meditation um, and the practice and use it as an ongoing practice to assist you in the days to come. And once again, thank you so much for listening and keep going, everyone. I, you're just amazing. You're amazing human beings. And um, I'm sending you all my love. Take care. And in the darkness behind your eyelids, just beginning to bring your attention to the breath. So following the breath as it moves into your body and following it on its path as it leaves your body. Connecting with your breath. Allowing your consciousness to merge with the breath. Feeling the breath. Relaxing with your breath. And we're going to begin to imagine that the breath is filling up our whole body from the tips of our toes to the crown of our head. So you're breathing in and feeling your whole body fill with breath. You're breathing out and relaxing. Breathing in and filling your whole body with breath. Breathing out and relaxing. And now, can you begin to perceive all of the energy within your whole body in space? So feeling the energy in your head your torso, your arms and your legs, allowing your awareness to roam freely, softly around your being, 
feeling all of the energy inside you. Perceiving yourself as the energetic being that you are. Feeling all of the energy inside your body in space. And can you now feel all of the energy around your body in space? Expanding your awareness beyond yourself, up and out. Exploring the space of all of the space around you. Understanding that your ability to move your consciousness is within you using your focused intent. Roaming your awareness around all of the space within space. And now we are going to begin to merge our bodies with the consciousness of the meta womb. And I want you to begin to feel the black, inky, amniotic fluid of the meta womb beginning to fill up the space inside your toes. So feeling each toe filling with this amniotic fluid, inky black, the fluid of rebirth, the void. And as your toes fill up, beginning to feel your feet filling up. This amniotic fluid, this all intelligent, life giving fluid filling up your body, merging its consciousness with yours, and your toes and feet are full of this fluid, and this inky black sea rises up your legs filling you, merging with you, pouring into your body, rising, rising, 
all of the space in your legs now submerged within this amniotic fluid of the metal womb. This beautiful flowing divine consciousness fluid filling you up rising past your hips filling all of the space inside your whole torso in space submerging you becoming the fluid feeling it filling your arms your hands to your fingertips and now it's rising up your neck and filling your whole head to the crown And just feeling your whole being infused and submerged within the amniotic fluid of the metal womb. Pure creation filling all of the space that is your being. This fluid contains all the loving intelligence and information needed to heal and grow and birth new systems and new realities. And holding this merge with the fluid of the meta womb, you are now going to begin to grow a new brain for yourself. So feeling the space within your head, the birth of a new brain, Perceiving it growing from a seed, fed and nourished by the meta womb. Growing, growing inside this fluid inside your being. And now, beginning to birth out of the brain, a spinal cord beginning to bud and bloom and grow from the brain, elongating, extending, flowing out as a creation from the womb. Flowing down 
where your spine would be if it were not full of this black inky fluid of creation. And as your spinal cord completes in its growth, beginning to perceive now all the millions of nerves beginning to grow. the nerves of the peripheral nervous system growing, extending, expanding outwards, fibers and threads, sensitive, seeking, moving and flowing, filling your whole being with the new creation of a brand new peripheral nervous system. And so now, your central nervous system and your peripheral nervous system are fully grown, floating in this beautiful black inky sea of creation, the nourishing amniotic fluid of creation, soothing, holding, floating, and just feel this gentle, soothing, floating freedom as your nervous system sways in the ebb and flow, buoyant within this amniotic fluid of the meta womb, weightless, soft, light, peaceful. See this system gently lit, softly luminous and expansive, floating within your whole being. Feeling this system relaxed, held, safe, soothed, floating within the amniotic fluid of the meta womb.
fully functioning, fully connected with your entire being and with your seventh sense, the meta womb, the void of all creation in perfect communion. Feeling your multi-dimensionality floating freely, consciously, within all of this space of the meta womb. And now, as you breathe in, allow the gift of your breath to nourish the whole nervous system. Breathing in even more nourishment to every fiber and thread of your nervous system. Breathing in life and energy. Bathing your nervous system system, gently lighting up and softly swaying within the ebb and flow of your breath. And seeing this black sea of unconditional love, intelligence and information holding your nervous system, soothing your nervous system, nourishing it and loving it. Breathing in and breathing out the ebb and flow of your breath, nourishing healing, soothing this nervous system. Mm -hmm. 
and keeping this rhythm of the ebb and flow of your breath and seeing your nervous system gently flowing with the ebb and flow of your breath. You are now going to allow this perception of your body as filled with the black inky fluid to gently and slowly melt away. And as this perception of the inky fluid melts away, beginning to allow your awareness of your physical body to come back slowly gently realizing all of the muscles and organs and blood and tissue and bone to come back into your perception your beautiful healthy, whole body and within it your healed and floating soothed nervous system keeping the ebb and flow Nourishing it, nourishing all of you as you very gently and very slowly come back into your body, into the room and open your eyes.